friends, we are coming in hot with another weekend woodworking project. I am so excited about this. Let's just talk a little bit about what we're working on today. Currently in this real time moment, I am renovating our home office space. This is the last room in our house that needs a makeover, not counting the basement, but we'll talk about that in the future. Now, although I am renovating the office space, there is a closet that at some point is going to need a huge overhaul. And I just can't handle that right now. But what I can handle is creating custom doors for that closet. Now, because it is a really awkward, tight space with low ceilings and weird doorways, a custom build is the way to go for this project. And honestly, if you have the tools, it is way cheaper to build custom doors by yourself than to order them. Trust me, I've learned that the hard way so many times. To help bring some life to that closet, which is totally an eyesore right now, I'm teaming up with my amazing friends at Dat Products to create a custom double bypass sliding door system. That being said, I have the measurements for this door right here in my chicken scratch. We're gonna get started on building these doors and my hope is it only takes one weekend, so I'm gonna stop talking and get building. Let's get started. All right, friends, let's take a moment to talk about supplies for this build. I kind of want these doors to have an industrial look. To do that, I'm actually going to be painting them black. I'm using pre-primed one by fours for this build, but as always, you can find all the materials and my cut list for this project on my website. So click on that link below this video if you're interested. Also, like there are other links down there too that I'd love for you to click on. Like maybe you can join my Patreon and come hang out and like help support the channel or like maybe buy a t-shirt or some other wood working plans, I don't know. Enough of the shameless self-promotion, let's get started. So quick spoiler alert, this project did not take me a weekend to do. I actually ran into a couple of issues, but if you don't run into the same issues I did, which you'll see in this video and you learn from my mistakes, then this project will possibly take you a weekend and I love that for you. But anyway, after cutting and dry fitting, it was time to start assembling these doors. All right, friends, now that our pieces are cut, it is time to work on joinery. If you've been here for a while, you know that I really do love pocket hole joinery. However, I don't love exposed pocket hole joinery. Cover up those pocket holes, people. You're not gonna see the backside of this door literally at all because it's on the closet. So for a project like this, I think pocket holes are pretty perfect. I am going to drill a bunch of pocket holes into each one of the shorter pieces that I cut, and then we're gonna create the door frame. I mentioned this a lot in my my videos, I like to use this product here because it is an automated pocket hole. So if you're drilling a ton of pocket holes, it just makes it so much faster, but you can use a more basic or an intro level pocket hole joinery system as well for something like this. I will link both of those in the materials list for this project so you can check it out. But enough talking, let's get some pocket holes in these puppies. Woo! <laughs> Okay, hey friends, it is time to assemble. That's my assemble dance. I am going to put this door together and it is gonna be hanging like suspended from a barn door track. So I would really like it to be strong and not fall apart. In order to do that, I am using Daps Weld Wood Professional Wood Glue for the job. I love this stuff. I used this stuff on my planter recently and that has seen some things and it is still holding up well. So this is what I'm trusting for the job. I'm gonna attach this to every joint. I'm gonna screw it to the frame. Let's get this done. And then we're gonna move on to some other things. I'm so excited to see this come together. All right, friends, now we're going to route some grooves in the backside of the doors for the acrylic panels. And for this, I'm using a rabbit bit on my router. I'll link this with all the materials, but this is the one. Let's go. Hey, Brian. 
second. We are so close, so close to being able to kind of move on to some finishing touches for this build. Even though this is pre-primed lumber, there are a couple spots that are like slightly imperfect and I'm gonna be painting these doors black and you really can see imperfections when you use black paint and you don't prep correctly. In order to fill those little imperfections, I'm gonna be using Daft's Plastic Wood X Wood Filler. I love this stuff. It goes on pink, it dries natural, so like you know exactly when it's ready to roll for next steps. There are a couple of deeper spots that I'm gonna be filling. Because of that, this is a good time to do this, then call it a night, and then come back tomorrow and do all of the painting, frosting the acrylic, and cutting the acrylic and installing it. I just realized my microphone died because I'm a hot mess. This is gonna take one extra morning than I thought it was gonna take, but we're all good. Let's check this out. Looks like our pink putty is neutral. Let's sand this puppy and let's get it painted. Woo! Now I know that we're not surprised that I decided to go with a flat black paint color for this project because that seems to be the story of my life in this house. But what I will say is I am so happy I ended up spraying these instead of hand painting them. This went on so, so well. But anyway, after letting them sit and dry for a while, then it was time to move on to cutting the acrylic sheets because you know I love a good multitask. <music> All right, friends, the doors are drying, which is great. I think they look really cool, but I like to multitask. So while the doors are drying, we are gonna cut the acrylic panels that are going to function as, I almost said windows, I guess windows, not windows, panels. They're gonna function as panels for these doors, almost kind of like what my garage doors look like. This is really thin acrylic, which means that I can cut it on my table saw. It's a really simple way to cut acrylic. However, it's also like not the most pleasant way to cut acrylic because essentially like melted pieces of plastic come flying at you while you're cutting. So I'm going to put on a full face of safety stuff. I know I'm wearing short sleeves, probably a bad idea, but it's really warm in here today. Let's just get this done with. And then once those are cut, we can frost the back with some spray, allow those to dry, and then we're gonna assemble the doors today. I'm excited, let's do it. Something I just wanna mention, if you don't have a table saw, no sweat fam. You can use a circular saw, a jigsaw, a multi-cutter. You can use a blade. You don't have to get fancy, I promise. All right, let's frost these puppies up. Got some frosted glass spray. I've never used this before, so I'm curious to see how it works. I'm also low key laughing at myself right now because I'm pretty sure I don't even like frost cupcakes in my life. This is like the only thing I've ever frosted. Also, I kept the film on the back side for now so I just don't scratch the other side of the acrylic, but we're only gonna frost one side. Quick spoiler alert, this could have been user error, but I absolutely hated how these dried. We're gonna tackle that in a little bit, but just wanted to put it out there. I'm gonna let these things do their thing and then when everything dries, we'll assemble. So excited, friends, woo! All right, friends, Arrow brought the door in. Good job, Arrow. So now that the door is in, it's time to get the panels of acrylic in. I just laid this door down on some old t-shirts because I don't want to scratch it. But I'm gonna be laying all of the acrylic panels into the grooves and I'm gonna be doing that using Daps Ultra Clear Silicone. There are a couple ways that you can do this. I'm choosing to do it this way because I wanted something that was gonna dry strong but dry clear. You can use construction adhesive. For me, this is the way to go for this project because if I do make a mistake, you won't really see it because it's gonna dry clear. So let's get these in there. Can you not scratch my door that I just worked so hard to build, please? Can you go eat that somewhere else? Thank you very much. So typically DAP would recommend a construction adhesive for a project like this, but because this product dries clear and strong, I opted to use it instead and honestly, it worked awesome. She fits. Woohoo, one down, a jillion to go. Arrow, don't step on it, come on. So props to DAP and the silicone product because the bond between the silicone, the door, and the panels were so good that I tried to remove one of the panels later in the process to fix it and it like wouldn't budge. So word of warning, if you're looking for something that's gonna work really well, definitely check out this particular product. Okay, friends, moment of truth. I'm nervous. What if it doesn't look good? Woo, that looks kind of cool. I think it's gonna work. Wow, okay. Yeah, I gotta do some touch-up paint, but other than that, I think it looks kind of cool. Let's get the hardware on these things, woo. 
hope that you cannot see the hue of the green paint through those frosted panels on that door because clearly I didn't paint the inside of this closet. If you can, then there's gonna be a closet makeover coming at you soon. I'm actually not sold on this frosted door panel thing right now only because I think the panels look really cool, but for some reason, the actual spray paint that I used to frost the doors just didn't dry nicely. It dried super blotchy. I'm gonna try to like fix that at some point, but like not right now. Right now, I really just wanna get these doors up and kind of out of the way. So I'm going to install the hardware. I will link the hardware kit that I used for this in the materials list if you're interested, but let's get some hardware up, friends. Oh, Sam, so optimistic, so naive. <laughs> Clearly by the tone of this voiceover I'm doing right now for this video, things did not go as planned immediately after this. Long story short, after hanging these doors, I decided that A, I hated the glass and B, I hated the spacing and C, I definitely needed to demo the trim and make the doors thicker. And I was just having a moment where I absolutely hated it, but no worries because my emotional support human was on her way to help save this project. Friends, remember how the last time you saw me, I was like not that stoked about the doors? Well, I have some help here. <laughs> Annie's here. <laughs> and she's helping me fix the doors. I didn't like the gaps between. You're so ominous standing back right. there. Sorry, I feel like I'm like literally. <laughs> Welcome to the Sam and Danny show. I didn't like the gap in between the doors, so I'm gonna add some trim to the back of the doors to just make them look a little bit thicker. And while I do that, Danny is going to demo the trim off of the closet doors because we just don't think it looks right. So it's gotta go. It's gotta go. All right, <laughs> let's do it. Let's divide and conquer. So in case you missed it, basically I was so overwhelmed renovating my home office by myself on a tight deadline that Danny was like, I got you. And she like literally hopped on the next flight she could to come help me because she's literally the best and I'm the luckiest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I should wear the safety glasses trying to take me out. So while Danny fixed the trim problem, I fixed the door not being thick enough problem and added additional frosting to the panels. While I'm working on fixing the barn door, Danny is working on spackling with Daps Dry Dex Spackle. I love this stuff because it goes on pink and so like there's no question when it's ready to sand because it dries white. Yeah, yeah, I'm so impatient. I never wait and I never know <laughs> I never when. Either. So the fact that it's like it goes on pink and then it dries, white. bomb. Just makes it so easy. All right. Danny, you're doing great. Now, since I made the doors a little thicker, I did have to reinstall the hardware, but that was like the easy part of the process. And once that was done, they were ready to be hung up and then eventually touched up. And we also touched up the wall as well. That paint job looks like a 25 year old. <laughs> Lie, take it back, take it back. We're gonna have to work on our smack talking game. <laughs> Last step in this process is to put these little bumpers on the floor and these will provide stability to the door so they don't like move back and forth and also line them up nicely. The only thing is that I don't love the screws that came with this, so I'm gonna use different screws, but all good. Let's get this project done. Last step was to add the final hardware, give these things a good wipe down and wait until you see the transformation. It looks awesome. Great job, Sam. <laughs> Friends, do you see how these closet doors turned out? Because I don't know about you, I think that they look really rad. These doors turned out exactly the way that I wanted to. They look the way they looked in my brain before I started this project, which makes me so happy. And they really do tie together this whole entire room. It honestly feels so good to finally have a dedicated office space for DIY Huntress HQ. And it feels even better that Danny got to be a part of that entire process with me. Like, do you see what we got done in this space? Now, while the closet doors look great, the closet, not so much. So we're gonna be tackling that very shortly. At some point soon, I'm gonna be sharing some really fun and easy ideas for organizing and customizing a small, awkwardly laid out closet, just like this one. If you're interested in that video, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell, like this video. But in the meantime, friends, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being awesome. I will see you soon with a new project on the channel, probably next week, to be honest, because I've been working on a lot of things behind the scenes. But until then, friends, happy DIYing.